So here is my Insta account. So you can click that follow button. You can contact me at any time for any kind of technological queries. I'm ready to help you. On the other end, like for web designing or any other courses or internships, if you want to contact us, yes, I'm ready to help you. Here is the contact number to contact us. Web design series HTML 19th video. We are going to talk about the form tag. See, actually, like a yeah, website, a yeah, website will be classified or a web page can be designed into two major. The one is a static one, the other one is dynamic one. Static is nothing but Kashu Infotech Company is providing internship, will display all the details. Kashu Infotech Company is providing courses, will display everything. Kashu Infotech is doing projects, will display everything. On the other end, if the student wants to contact us, you got the dynamic website where the student will be giving the details and they will submit the button. So the name, age, which college, what they want, what course they are going to study with my company will specify everything and they will click the submit button. The data will be posted somewhere in the database. So the form data will be posted in the database. That is called as a form tag. It can be achieved with the form form slash form that is how your form tag works your form tag will have the text boxes the labels the option button the data list and we got a lot of controls available okay let's move on to my website to see like uh, the each and every tag and what is the how, my, how we are going to design it how we can denote it everything in my website let's move on let's move on to the Topics a learning link. This link is available in the description and in the first comment. So let's move on to our website like to see the form tag and the other details of all the controls. Okay, let's move on here. So this is my URL like over here. I got my form tag. So I'm clicking this form tag. You are able to see the form tag will be placed in the body. So inside the body tag, you will have the form tag. So over here, I got the HTML. I got the body. In that, I got the form tag. The form tag will have the controls so it can be a text box it can be like a, the buttons and you got a lot of things available which you can place in the form tag and you will have the post option so what is the method you are going to do it so whether you want to post it or something like that what is the action you need to perform with this form tag so you need to specify it okay just scrolling down you are able to see it here over here you are able to see it here the form tag the form tag will be having the labels and you got the text box and another label another text box and a submit button so this is how your form tag will be so over here you got the label and you got the text box and you got the label text box and your button so over here you got the properties let's move on to the properties of the form tag over here so you got the accept so whether like, this is not available in HTML5 no need of this one just forget it accept the character set what kind of character set it is accommodating and what is the action it is taken on the like a, what is the action whether it is going to post to on which page it is going to move on what is the action it is going to do and i want to on clicking this one i need to open a page whether you want to open in the same page or in an another page or on top of it how you want on back of this one which one you want you are able to specify the blank and encoding type what kind of data so we are so we are going to send so on clicking on giving Venkat the username is Venkat the password is ABC submit button the data will be encoded and it is moving on what kind of data is navigating coming out from the uh, like from the form and what kind of data is entering into the form everything is coming under this encoding type and what is the method so getting the data in the using the form or posting the data using the form and uh, what kind of data it is a text or something like that whether you want to validate the form or not and auto complete Sir, I am giving like my name V E Venkat is auto complete is automatically loading man because previously I typed that Venkat man so that's such kind of information so such kind of options are available in this properties let's move on to see the other controls available input tag text area you got the button select tag option tag option group tag label field set and data list these are the things we are going to see now so over here i've seen a form tag here input obviously text box is an input input type equal to text yeah text box input type equal to button yeah button will be there input type is equal to radio you'll get a radio button so you are able to specify here like whatever things you want you can specify like which what kind of uh, 
but like control you want you can specify it using this input tag so over here like this is a code <clears throat> i explained it before itself over here you are able to see alignment where i want the alignment of the text so what kind of input i can accept the file extensions the maximum length the name value if it is a checkbox checked or not i want to disable it sir i want to disable it yes you can disable it alternative text for an image read only property size the source and type is equal to this is really important input type equal to button you got the button input type equal to checkbox you got the checkbox input type equal to date you got the date date time date time local email the text box will accept an email so you will be having password so the text is like a star 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 okay so these are the inputs we are able to provide type equal to and the form the form actions and the encoding type the form method these are the properties of the form it is integrated here okay so this is how your input tag is the next one like we are going to talk about the text area sir one line of text sir i got multiple lines sir put how many rows and how many column man so over here you are able to specify how many rows and how many columns you'll be getting the text area like this yeah yeah paragraph you're able to give a paragraph and you got lot of properties please check it out okay let's move on to the next area button sir input type equal to button i'll get the button sir can you have a tag button yes you can have the button tag also and you can write the javascript code also so body button type equal to button on click on click you can give a javascript also okay so this is the code like you are able to see it here so in the body tag you got the button type equal to button on clicking it you got the alert okay click me is the text click me is the text gone clicking it you got the alert so this is how your button is the next one we are going to talk about is select tag so drop down sir one two three i want the selecting selection sir so i kind of i can go with this select tag select tag is once again it is a body tag because it's the form tag okay so i got the body now i got the body i got the select tutorial you got the select tag under the select you got the options you got three options available so over here executing it you are able to see oh that's great man we get the html we get the css and we get the php that's awesome man okay this is how your select tag works you may ask me do we have any other options sir instead of select tag you can have option tag also so instead of the select tag i can have the option tag also you are able to see under the select tag you got the option tag sure so i don't want the select tag so i can go with the option group tag also okay so under the select tag you can provide the options over here i got the option group the same like uh, options i can group it in option group okay such kind of things i can do it you can see it here under the select tag you got the option group under the option group you are able to select like this you are able to see it here so you are able to see it here web development in wiki tiki that is the group under that you got css and html as an option so programming technology in wiki tiki is there okay over here and java and c is an option so you are able to see select select option group option group option group option group under that you got the options this is how your option group is the next one we are going to talk about the label which we already discussed man so we know this one label man so label to display the content and this label can be used with some other controls also you are able to see i am got a radio button with the radio button i want to give the labels yes you can do it okay over here so i am trying to show you the label explaining with the radio button okay type equal to radio type equal to radio input type equal to radio okay the next one we are going to talk about the field set sir i want to group it sir personal details sir put it separate group man same form tag personal details all personal first name last name everything education detail college name so what other things you want school name everything percentage everything and experience where you worked and what is your internship everything and projects you can explain the projects and everything this is how you are able to group it this is called as a field set tag so they call it as a field set tag to give the naming and heading you'll be you'll be using the legion legion is like providing a heading for the field set tag and you got lot of properties here please check it out okay and the next one we are going to talk about the data list sir i'm listing the data using options sir why i need this data list creating a data list is so easy for you to traverse 
So fetching the data will be real simple man. That's why your data list comes into the picture. Over here you got the body tag. Under that you got the data list. Instead of select, you got data list. The same thing is coming at batch. It, the performance will be really fast and manipulating, controlling the data is real fast. That is called data list. And the final thing which we are going to talk is like key generation. What is key generation, sir? Sir, I, I, like, I went to my form. I, I, I logged into your form. I went to a registration form. So I gave my username and everything. They ask a suggested password, a button. Clicking it, the, com the website is generating a password, sir. It is done by this key gen. Key gen is a tag used to create your passwords. So you are able to specify the encryption. The encryption, you are able to see the text box and specify the password. Submit it, you are able to get your password. Okay, so the encrypted formats. The encrypted keys will be like a RSC, DSC and EC. Okay, these are some of the encryption algorithms can be used to encrypt your data to give some passwords. Okay, and over here, sir, I went to your form, sir. There is a captcha, 2 plus 3, 5. You need to put the 5 and submit it. Sir, I don't want to write a server coding, sir. In client itself, I want to write the coding. It's a simple use. You can use this output tag. Okay, this is the output tag. You can see it here. So, I got A and B and I'm trying to show it here. You can see wiki, techie and you got the answers wiki, techie. It is merged. So everything is written in the HTML itself. The processing of data with HTML can be done using this output tag. You can see it here. I got, I got form on input c dot value is equal to a dot value and b dot value. So c is equal to a dot value plus b dot value. A dot value is at plus b dot value will give the c value. This is how your output tag works. Hope you learned about these forms and everything. And if you got any, if you got any queries or anything, you just post it in our comments. I'm ready to help you.